guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be checking out a bunch of creations, but it's going to be a little bit different today because we are going to be checking out creations and testing them by going to an enemy military island and seeing how long they last. We're going to be starting with creations that may not last the longest and then moving on to creations that, well, just are massive and there's absolutely no way they could be defeated. But who knows? Some of these creations might surprise us. Anyways, we're starting off with this plane and now something's a bit special about this plane all right we are starting up the engines let's turn on the gun sight pull up oh okay okay this might not have been the best takeoff sight but well you can see what's a little bit special about this plane no i have not modded the game but yes this engine and this part of the wing has actually broken off how cool is that? This is a real destructible plane with destruction physics and all. Look at this. How cool is that? And not to mention the fact that if you crash, like the rings will break off and stuff. But we can also manually trigger explosions in the left wing. We can cause the right wing to break off and we can explode the tail, which is great for simulating crashes. Anyways, let's bring the landing gear up. So now the reason why this thing, I'd say, isn't gonna fare too well against the enemy is that while the destruction physics are cool, they are in no way practical and the fact that this thing has two explosives embedded in it, one in the left wing and one in the tail, just makes it all the more dangerous to fly around while being shot at. Like, just think about it, if you had the advantage of never having your wings break, or having your fuselage ripped in half, why would you want to give up that advantage? Anyways, this thing is armed, obviously. As you can see, it has a heavy cannon, which probably isn't so good at fighting air targets, but I'd say is amazing at taking out enemy artillery or tanks. Wait, do you hear that? I think I hear a jet engine or something. Anyways, this is the enemy oil rig. Oh, I think I see where the jet engine sounds are coming from. There's two helicopters and two planes. That is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, what? Why are we not pulling up? This thing's kind of unresponsive. It's not a very easy plane to fly. Or the most maneuverable, really. I'm surprised they missed all those shots. I'm literally flying a destructible two-propeller prop plane, and they still haven't managed to even damage me. You know, if I was trying to attack them, I feel like a few objects on the oil rig would be damaged by now. This is a pretty lazy defense, don't you think, guys? What was that? Guys! Oh no! We just lost a wing. I don't know what happened. What? I didn't press anything that would have made us lose a wing. Was it like because of the G-forces? Was I pulling really hard turns and then that just made the wing snap? Anyways, let's go over these warships. This is- we're sure to be fi finished off. I can barely fly this thing because it's missing a part of its wing. Actually, I'm surprised I'm keeping it in the air right now. This is ridiculous. Oh no, we're gonna crash. We are so dead. We are so dead. Yep, there we go. I mean, we might as well press all the buttons, right? Just for fun, you know? All right, there goes the plane. All right, guys, keeping with the theme of air vehicles, we have here a VTOL. Now, this is considerably larger and does not have destruction physics, which ranks it a spot higher on the list. But the thing is, the fact that it's a VTOL might be its downfall. Because in VTOL mode, we are so incredibly easy to hit. And with the fact that we have such massive engines, I feel like one of them might be disabled. Oh, wow! Okay, I thought that was a normal tank and not an anti-air tank. Well, it turns out one burst from the anti-air tank was all we needed. We went down immediately. At least this thing floats. Okay, there, there, there's another burst on us. Okay. Oh, there's another burst. Okay, we're already dead. You don't have to keep killing me. Anyways, while we're being shot at, I thought it was only fair to look around in this creation. Looks like at the front we have a bed, maybe a place to live in. I can't really tell with the massive amount of damage. Anyways, if you continue back here, you'll see that there's a lot of water. That's very bad. Well, it looks like this is some cargo hold of passenger bay. And if we go up to the second floor, I mean, it's hard to appreciate the beauty of this creation when, you know, everything's sinking and it's also completely destroyed. We should probably get out of here before this thing gets to the bottom of the ocean uh okay this door isn't damaged yep it's already at the bottom of the ocean wow okay remind me not to attack a base in that thing hey you there tank why don't you pick on someone your own size that's right we've come to fight fire with fire we're using our very own tank to fight that tank over there all right i guess it's time to get ready to fire this thing uh let's get in the loader seat load this gun well then we're gonna have to load this thing 
right there and then close the breach okay this is the gunner seat sights on oh i see them do you see that i think that's the enemy all right we're gonna have to bring this left uh sorry right and then bring it up all right our sights are set guys are you ready ready to press the button guys here we go fire what yeah that kind of did nothing fire Please, can you fire? What happened? Is it not, like, loaded? Oh, what is the breach? Why is the breach not closed? Okay, that's a problem. All right, now we can fire. There we go. That, I think that disabled it. Okay, let's load a new round into the cannon. Just in case another enemy decides to spawn. You know, the engine really sounds like it wants to start, but it isn't starting. <laughs> like, do you hear? It's, like, really trying, but it just can't. Actually, I think now that we killed that enemy, nobody else is gonna spawn. That's cool. It's like we captured the island. You know, this thing is so insanely slow. It's kind of ridiculous. But I mean, I think we had a successful creation today. You know, no other enemies are spawning. I think we can count that as a success. All right, then. Let's hope it continues to be like this. Let's move on to the next creation, which is going to be a boat since we've gone through air vehicles and land vehicles. It's only right to give boats a chance, right? Okay, guys, this is our next creation and final creation at that. Uh, let's go in photo mode. I want to show you guys the real th the entire thing. So this, it's a massive warship, or I think it's a frigate, I don't quite remember. It is decked out to the teeth with armor and weapons. Uh, half of those weapons are now destroyed, in fact. Yep, uh, how have the rockets fallen off already? Anyways, this thing should be able to take quite a beating, so we're gonna be trying to survive. And also, by the way, player damage is activated, so that does mean we can get killed by a bullet. Oh, wow. That's a lot of lag. That was a lot of damage, too. What? How much smoke is- that's like a massive explosion. I do like how the first thing that happened was the helm was destroyed because now we can't even drive the boat what what's happening do you guys see this are you guys seeing this we are tilting we are complete we're tilting oh no we are capsizing how have they already capsized us that was like what two three attacks on us and we already capsized that's a bit disappointing how's that happened you know i have a theory on why we got capsized i think it might be because they damaged say the either logic for the self-writing or balancing system in this thing or maybe just damage the system itself because like it's obvious that no ship should be able to capsize that quickly this thing's gotta have a self-balancing system so it doesn't tip over while doing turns and that must have gotten damaged or something i think we see we're starting to see some water that is not good i want to find a seat so i can see what's going on that side actually i can just go in photo mode well as i expected the ai just constantly shooting the hull of this boat because we're upside down. Look at the amount of damage here. I mean, eventually we're gonna sink, right? I don't think much is gonna come of this other than us sinking. Oh no, the water's really high. It's up to the door now. Okay. You know, actually, this is kind of fun. If this didn't capsize as fast, this would be even cooler. You know, I might even start a series on this. Like, we could make it so that whenever a massive warship or big boat comes out on the workshop, we could, like, test it out against an enemy-occupied island. Or in this case, enemy-occupied oil rig over there. And just, like, park it next to it and see how long it lasts. I mean, eventually it'll, you know, sink or something. But we could, like, have a test of strength and see if the warship is actually good at fighting. Anyways, there is, really isn't much to do in an upside down ship that you can't even drive other than wait for it to sink you know i mean the water is already up to the second floor so then i guess i'm gonna end this video here if you guys enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye